The Mario Air Championship was a great competition we started back in 2009, back when, um, so it happened um, that I discovered that Marcus Persson, also known as Notch, he later on um, went and this game called Minecraft. Um, but back then, before I'd done Minecraft, he was actually sort of an approachable person and he answered emails, which I think, I think is surprising when anyone answers emails. I mean, I don't. But um, it's, um, uh, he had made a sort of open source Java clone of Super Mario Bros. And me and a student hacked this into an AI benchmark. Um, so you can connect your own sort of AI agents to it and, uh, and play it. And then we made a competition out of it. It had a level generator, so every time you played it, you got a new level. And we, were, um, and we sort of ran this at a couple of conferences, um, asked people to submit their best Mario playing agents, and we thought that this would be really interesting to see. The problem was, and this made us really, really sad, um, for the first ever Mario AI competition, this agent was submitted. And what you can see here is that this agent is just too good. It seems optimal. You look at this, and you could definitely not play Mario this way. I mean, you couldn't. It's like pixel precision. Every jump is exactly timed where it should be, and, uh, and it sort of has a spooky quality. I love showing this video because everybody gets absolutely transfixed. There's a couple of moments um, which basically, um, which everybody reacts to because it's sort of, you naturally think, imagine yourself in the position of this agent, and then you're sort of shocked at like, things they can do, like this. You can't do that. Um, and the really, really, I mean, the, the, the really sad thing about this is that this was based on this extremely simple algorithm that people learn in like first or second year computer science class. Any idea? Anyone? Nope. So it's not the fancy neural network. So it's, it's the A star algorithm. It's a classic planning algorithm that, um, that, uh, that is used for path planning all the time and is used in like almost all games all the, um, all the time. So basically what happens is that it plans in state space. It uses a simulation of the game and then it plans, it looks at, at every point in time, it just tries to get the right, to the right end of the screen. So it sort of basically looks at what actions it has, lays them out, okay, these are the different actions it can take. Looks at the one that seems to be getting, um, to, um, getting closer to the right end of the screen <clears throat> and sees if we can get there, like, oh no, that's not so good. That action would lower my value very much because I would die, so let's not take that action. Let's look at what's the next best action I can take and then do that. And then you expand the actions from that. Um, so basically, um, and then you add them to the list of all possible actions. I'm obviously simplifying here. Um, it is a little bit more, bit more complex than that. But the important part is that it basically just uses a simulation of the game, and then it searches in that simulation. So it uses what's called a forward model. Um, so we were really saddened because we had thought we had a good AI benchmark, and then it seems that someone could all, almost basically play it optimally that way. Um, so we thought about how could we possibly um, make, it, make this benchmark better? How could we save this? So we changed the level generator, so it started creating levels that had these sort of dead ends, where it would have to sort of basically run back to a place it had been before. And this is sped up a bit. What you see here is this A-star agent um, trying to play this uh, game. And to get out of here, it's actually not that hard. You basically just need to walk back a bit and jump up on the top of this overhanging ledge here. But the agent can't find that because it's just searching and searching and searching around and trying to get to, the, uh, get to as far right as it can. But yeah, it's basically greedy. It's a short-term optimizer. Um, and it would need to figure out that this is not working. I need to move all the way back and find another path. It can't. So um, this was interesting. Um, this is an illustration of, um, of how it looks. This is one of these overhangs um, that traps this algorithm pretty well. Um, and for the next year's Mario AI competition, we had um, this thing submitted, which is a, um, it's a combination of using A star algorithm at the very bottom 
something called evolutionary computation, which we'll get to in a bit uh, at the top, and, uh, um, and uh, a set of rules which are evolved using this evolutionary computation. It's, it's a mess. It's basically a bunch of different things that don't seem to fit together, but it is so far the best Mario playing agent that I know of. Um, and uh, it's pretty good, right? Um, of course, playing a game well is not necessarily everything you want always. We also ran a version of this um, um, competition which was a, sort of a Turing test, which is basically try, where we asked people to submit the best agents and then we asked spectators to look at these agents um, and see which one. Both videos of agents and videos of humans and try to tell humans from agents and try to find the most human-like playing agents. Um, and here we had a number of different um, results. So this, for example, is my postdoc, my former postdoc, um, training a Bayesian network, so a machine learning method, on her five-year-old niece playing Super Mario Bros. And it starts looking pretty human-like. But we also figured out that you could, um, you could um, easily take an existing method and fix it up some way. You could basically make it wait a bit for, um, now and then, um, uh, sort of stop, uh, stop and wait a bit, which humans do a lot when they need to think. You could make it seem to take actions and fail, which is also very efficient. This is something that people, um, uh, people rank as being very, um, very human-like and so on. And also trying to sort of not jump up at the very last pixel. Yeah, 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 yeah.